Siberian Tiger versus Grizzly Bear. Who would be more effective and win a fight? It is quite fascinating that both animals have stunning abilities and belong to powerful species of animals. The grizzly bear and the Siberian tiger are one of the most popular animals that draw the attention of numerous people for its deadly abilities and powerful body. Both beasts are predators at the top of the food chain, so the Siberian tiger and the grizzly bear are the undisputed lords of their respective habitats. The Siberian tiger is a subspecies of tiger that lives in Eastern Asia. They are one of six living subspecies of tigers, along with Bengal, Sumatran, South China, Indo-Chinese, and Malayan tigers. The Siberian subspecies is the largest subspecies of tiger. Grizzly bears are members of the brown bear family. The term grizzly refers to the appearance of the hair on the back of mature bears, which is light brown with white tips, giving it a grizzled or grey appearance. Size and Description Being the largest of all the tigers, this is an impressive hunter. The male measures an average of 11 feet 3.3 meters in length from head to tail and weighs about 390 pounds, 176 kilograms. Females are slightly smaller at an average length of 8.8 .8 feet, 2.7 meters, of approximately 260 pounds, 118 kilograms. The Siberian tiger developed some physical adaptations to endure the cold climate of its habitat, like a thick layer of fat and a very dense fur, paler and with fewer dark stripes compared to other tigers. It has a yellow or reddish skin with dark, narrow and widely separated dark brown stripes. The chest, belly, inner limbs and the area around the neck are white. Grizzlies are among the largest living carnivores. They are 3.3 to 9 feet, 1 to 2.8 meters in length, and weigh 800 pounds, 363 kilograms. Grizzly bears have a dished or concave face, short round ears, and a large shoulder hump. They range in color from very light tan almost white, to dark brown. The word grizzly means sprinkled or streaked with grey, much like the grizzly bear's fur. Their eyesight is poor, and they have been known to attack humans without evident provocation. Range and Habitat This big cat lives in a much smaller area than it has historically roamed. Most Siberian tigers live in eastern Russia and northern China. Their population lives primarily in the Sikoti Alan mountain range. The primary habitats of the Siberian tiger are taiga or snow forest, birch forest and boreal forest. They live in very harsh conditions. Winters are extremely cold and snowfall can be very high during the winter. The vast majority of the population lives in remote mountainous regions, far from any human settlement. Most of their habitat choices also revolve around prey availability. Grizzly bears once roamed throughout the entire western United States, south into Mexico, including the Great Plains and along rivers in desert habitats. A large population of grizzly bears lives inland in Alaska and northern Canada. The southern populations in Canada's British Columbia and Alberta are greatly reduced. Grizzlies tend to like open areas like tundra, alpine meadows and coastlines. For the most part, grizzly bears live alone. Every now and then, they will meet up with other grizzlies outside of mating season and stand next to each other, but not much socialization will occur. Diet. The Amur tiger is a very dedicated hunter, 
and they blend well into their surroundings. While they mainly hunt at night, they have been seen out during the daylight hours to find food. They can travel a large distance in their home range to find food. They tend to look for the larger prey, such as elk and wild boars. They use their powerful jaws to pounce into action after they have snuck up closely to their prey. They are able to take down animals that weigh several times more than they do. Grizzly bears are omnivores. The most commonly eaten kinds of plants are fleshy roots, fruits, berries, grasses, and forbs. If grizzly bears are on the hunt, their prey can include fish, especially salmon. Rodents like ground squirrels, carrion, and hoofed animals like moose, elk, caribou, and deer. They are especially good at catching the young of these hoofed species. Grizzly bears can also target domestic animals, like cattle and sheep, and cause economically important losses for some ranchers. Behavior It is a solitary and very territorial tiger, which usually marks trees and rocks to establish its area. Although there are only a few hundred Siberian tigers in their distribution range, they have the advantage of having vast areas available for searching food, an activity to which they dedicate part of the night. This animal is well known for its power and strength, which, added to a fearsome reputation, stir fear among humans. However, the Siberian tiger avoids contact with people, although it may conflict with them if they are sick, injured, or unable to hunt normally. Grizzly bears use sounds, movement, and smells to communicate. They growl, moan, or grunt, especially when females are communicating with their young or during mating season when male bears can fight each other fiercely for the opportunity to mate with receptive females. Grizzly bears also rub their bodies on trees to scratch and to let other bears know they are there. Now is the time to find out who would win a fight between these two beasts. Both animals are predators at the top of the food chain, but these predators would never encounter each other naturally in the wild. Both animals are natural killers with plenty of murder weapons at their disposal. The Siberian tiger, in strength, it is unrivaled in the Russian Far East. An adult grizzly, like its subspecies, is far more massive and stronger than the Siberian tiger. Jaws The grizzly's powerful jaw closes with a force of 1,250 psi, while the tiger's has a force of 950 psi, which is still enough to bite through bone. But the tiger's teeth are longer and thinner, leaving deeper wounds that bleed longer. Claws This is an important source of trauma in the grizzly's arsenal. They are not as sharp as the Siberian tigers, but factor in the crushing power of the blow itself, and that could be the end of it. Such a blow could simply snap a tiger in two. Tigers are stealthy. They can move without making a sound and ambush and attack from the most advantageous position from their perspective, and at the most unpredictable moment. Bears are resistant to wounds. Whereas the tiger clearly has the upper paw in terms of speed and agility, bears are the armored tanks of the animal world. All its arteries and trachea are protected by solid fat and muscle, and lie very deep. Bears have been known to continue fighting even when bullets have penetrated their lungs and liver. Battle Tactics Without a doubt, the first thing a threatened bear will do is to rear up to look as big as possible. The tiger has one aim in mind – to bite through the neck bone. All tiger experts highlight this as the most common kill technique. But getting hold of the bear's neck is not easy, given the amount of fat and muscle. 
In my opinion, I put my money on the tiger because it is accustomed to killing. Tigers feed only on meat and only on the meat of animals they kill, which is why they have more developed hunting skills. It knows exactly where to bite in order to kill its victim, how and where to strike with its paw. And they are more intelligent than the grizzly. So, in my opinion, the Siberian tiger always has the upper hand over the grizzly bear and will win in a head-to-head -head fight. That's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.